Hi there, and welcome back to the channel again. Thank you for joining me. So we continue our little journey into these classic matchbox kits and we're now going to appeal to some whole new viewers, I think, and subscribers because we're getting into some of the armour kits. So I've gone from the sort of orange and medium range, did some armour items and we did some planes. Now we're going into the smaller um, pocket money range, the purple range. Most people that watch this, I'm sure, will instantly recognise some of these uh, images on the box art, um, the Roy Huxley paintings that were done that were so attractive. <coughs> and here we have the Puma uh, armoured car, the Nazi Wehrmacht armoured car. And a lot of people will, you know, you recognise that, that artwork almost straight away, don't you? It's really evocative, uh, very, very popular in the 70s and early 80s, and basically. Anybody of a certain age is going to remember this quite well, I think, and uh, hopefully we will uh, bring back a few memories and uh, trigger a few uh, desires to make. maybe get your hands on another one or maybe even make a later version. I think Tamiya do a 35th scale version of this, don't they? Um, I quite like to build that. I must look into that. But anyway, let's get on with the Matchbox Classic. So, I'll bring you in nice and close because you've never seen me. Some nice... Uh, artwork on this box as well which is going to be quite interesting so in very much in keeping of course with these uh, armour kits from Matchbox they always had this diorama idea which made them very very desirable especially at this pocket money price I mean these were literally 25 pence back in sort of 1973-74 I'm just checking on this one it's actually, this is actually a 73 it's right there dated 73 amazing so this is what it looked like. So you have the uh, traditional window, clear window on the back, which I think is really much more attractive than the later ones when they remove the window. <coughs> You've got this remarkable diorama on this one where you have a street scene with a lamppost bent over, a bit of the street, a lot of German officers milling around looking for trouble, and a great crater probably from a bombing raid or maybe some artillery has put a hole in the street. So it's really, a nice, again, it's very simple but very effective and very well implemented. On the top, as usual, you get the sort of schematic showing the recommended uh, painting uh, guide, if you like. Uh, and they do do it slightly differently with the armour because they, they often have this, uh, this is how it should look like painted, in complete uh, contrast to on the aircraft where this this panel would be showing it unpainted and then a proper paint guide on the back because it needs perhaps more more detail showing you uh, the top and bottom of the aircraft and the sides and all that whereas with this it's a little bit simpler obviously so they always show the unpainted version on the reverse so it gave you a really good idea and it's quite nice to have it a bit bigger as well I think you can actually see what you're going to get and then of course on the other side uh, again traditional for Matchbox they advertise their other products in the same range and here we've got the Humber armoured car, we've got the Panzer Auf 4, the Panther and the Sherman Firefly and the Normandy Beaches. So without further ado, let's take a look what's inside the box. I'll zoom you out a little bit. And let's have a look in there. Be careful because it is a very old kit. It's 47 years old. Nearly 48 years old. <coughs> so we're going to gently remove these items. Shouldn't be any clear parts to bother us, of course. So, what have we got? Well, first of all, um, it's two colours because this is the base range, purple range, and hence the, the purple instructions. Uh, they very much like to keep this colour coordination thing going. A little bit of chit chat about the history of the vehicle. Uh, top speed of 53 miles an hour, so this was no slouch, was it? It's quite quick. On the back, it has your deckling guide, so you can see that you could. Uh, clearly make out the two options and it's um, the 9th SS Panzer Division uh, Hofenstaufen and the 11th Panzer Grenadier, Grenadier Division then you've got your uh, typical uh, paint call outs and again it shows the actual colours relative to the explanation of what they are from the Humbrol range and it even shows you how to paint the figures which is very nicely done actually I think it's quite quite good and we get into the actual instructions so let's take a closer look at that uh, I can't like this light purple paper it's very psychedelic uh, anyway so you start by building the the sort of ball uh, turret 
you then, uh, or the ball for, for the gun I should say, for the actual pivot for the gun, then you build that into uh, the turret and you actually attach the gun itself and then the turret comes on onto the top of the, uh, the body and the armour and then the chassis is built up and again it's, um, it's got this sort of slightly v-shaped hull for helping deflect mines and explosions and things um, then you build up your wheels and you've got to do uh, six of the, sorry eight, eight of them of course um, eight of those you've got to repeat that eight times and then you put them all onto the chassis with the leaf springs suspension and then you build your little street, complete with lamppost that's bent over and uh, bomb crater damage in the middle. There's even a grid, you know, really well executed, you'll see in a second. And then finally you put on all your external stowage items, so you've got tools, stowage boxes, the bumper, uh, various sort of jerry cans, water cans, jerry cans, petrol cans, and then the spare wheel goes on the back. And there you have it. So. Nice little instructions, looks like quite a straightforward kit. We've got some, some old, very old 48 year old decals here. wonder how they're going to be. Let's have a little look. See what we can, what we can separate them. Do you know what? Again, like so many others that we've seen in these matchbox kits, very gently do it. I won't do it all, but that will come off absolutely fine. You'll be able to use those, in fact. It's got the uh, it's got the vehicle's number plates there, as you can clearly see. So um, yeah, they're in good reasonably good shape for their age. So only two sprues then. Um, so this shouldn't take too long, should it? What have we got? So <coughs> zoom you out a bit so you can see better. We've got. Uh, Got the hull, the lower hull here and the upper hull here. Uh, some good, fairly good detailing. You've, you've got some uh, the grills at the back and the vents and things. It's not bad, you know. A little bit soft like matchbox tend to be, but it's for this scale. It's I'd say it's acceptable. Then underneath you've got the gun mantler and the gun itself, and then you've got your your bent lamp post, as you can see, looking a bit looking a bit sorry for itself there. The lamp post. <laughs> the vehicle's been into that. Then coming across the other side, you've got uh, your turret. Sorry, I'm trying to get you a better angle. There we go. We've got the turret here with the hatches and separate hatches, which is good because they could have just moulded it all as one, but they didn't. Then you've got like the mud guards that go down the side, and again we've got some uh, pretty good detail there. It's nicely formed, and of course there's no flash on the sprue at all, which is just part of the course for Matchbox and the reason that we love them so much then you've got your basically your uh, wheels and suspension and they've got like um, each it's quite impressive it's got leaf springs but it's got independent wishbones for every wheel which is amazing that's quite impressive and then you've got your wheels themselves here and uh, then you've got one or two things like the hatches and the boxes and you've got the uh, the gun, uh, sort of uh, the gun cover as it goes into the mantlet there. And there we have it. So that's the first one. <coughs> the second one is a bit more, but it's pale grey. This is where we've got the figures. So let's have a look at these guys. Look at the, the whole sprue first. There we go. So wait, and you've got your parts of the street here. As you can see, so if we zoom it into these guys. Right. Now these are really nicely figured, I've got to say, this little 76th scale uh, German infantry. And of course, as I mentioned in another video, that Matchbox released a set of German infantry and others, British infantry, American infantry, etc. Um, and Zax, they did a whole range of stuff. Um, as They're in like that rubberized plastic, almost like a rubbery, uh, you know, a copy of the Airfix idea, but this is in hard plastic. And they are nice little figures. You've got the guy in the middle of his MP40 Schmeiser. You've got the officer with his uh, Luger, is it? Or is it? Uh, it's actually got a slightly bent barrel, I've noticed. Very careful that. In fact, it's a Walther P38 Walther he's holding. <laughs> and then you've got the guy with his binoculars telling him to fire. <laughs> and then you've got various little, other little bits and bobs like the 
bumper here and you've got all your tyres and these are nicely done as well the tyres look really good I've got to say got treads on them as you can see really well figured and uh, yeah they, they've even not really got a particularly serious mole line on them they're very very well done I've got to say and then we're going to come out a little bit because then you can see this, this part of the street so here's your um, here's your, here's your roadway complete with a little grid here You've blown a big lump out of it. You can see there's some mains or something running underneath, which is really good. And again, you, you get this weathered up and put a wash on it and stuff. It's going to look really good. It's going to look, you know, like it's not from nearly 50 years ago. And here's the actual pavement at the side. And again, it's beautifully done. You've got some bricks missing here. Obviously, this here little hole is where the lamp stand goes. that has got the bend in it. And it's going to build into a really nice little scale diorama, you know. So there we have it, it's, um, and it's a good sprue, it's a nice plastic, nothing's fallen off the sprue, it looks like it was made yesterday to be quite honest, it's, um, it's a real cracker, I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with that, and uh, I've actually got one of these, um, which I probably should have brought out, but I think it had some missing parts, uh, I think I didn't have, I had an example of it where there was some, I think the street, uh, the bit with the lamp was missing, so I just had it you know, loose. But it's uh, it's a really nice kit. Um, if you can get, you still get hold of these. There's still quite a few of them around. They made, I mean, they must have made many hundreds of thousands of the kit. Um, but it's still available if you hunt around for them. An absolute classic, uh, and I'm sure brought back some memories for many people. But there we go. Anyway, in terms of the fact that I've built two or three of these over time, and I give it a you know, nine out of ten for what it cost. Nine out of ten, no problem. Um, Especially having the little figures as well, that just helps to animate it in such a cheap and basic kit. Uh, and it looks the part when it's done, you know, it's got a movable uh, turret, it's got the tiltable gun and everything. Everything you could need for 25p. Anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it brought back some good memories. Um, please, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And please stay tuned, ding the little notification bell, because we have got quite a few more of these to look at over time and uh, I'm sure again they'll bring back some uh, some happy memories of uh, making matchbox tanks. Anyway that's it for now thanks very much for joining me uh, hope to see you again soon in the meantime stay safe take care of yourselves thanks a lot and bye for now.